Hi oh, yeah, everybody, it's Kathy, the self-proclaimed Duchess of Montfort. We're going to do a little project today, something for Easter. What you're going to need is chunky yarn, a ruler, some ribbon, whatever you want, a possibly either or The, um, I don't know why I can't think of it. Anyway, it'll come to me. And I have a bow dabber that's going to help me hold the bow. Uh, glue stick and your glue gun. And a pair of scissors. And a bunny form. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is to say thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. This is a new channel for me. It's kind of a rocky start, but uh, I guess everybody has that. You got to go with it and do what you need to do when you need to do it. And uh, I'm sure it will improve like the weather. It's not zero anymore, which is great. It's still not warm like I would like it to be, but it's not zero pipe cleaner. I know it would come to me. So the first thing you want to do, make sure you have your your glue gun on. I turned mine on and it's just about ready. It's um, that's a battery operated one. It works pretty good. You're going to take your chunky yarn. You're going to turn your form backwards. Backwards would mean it comes up rather than sits flat. When it sits flat, that's the way it should be. So the back side is here. You're going to take a piece of the yarn and you're going to go to where you have one, two, three, four wire connectors. You're going to go to one of them. You're going to hold it on there. I really should have um, the finger protectors, but I didn't bring one out. Um, and you're going to take some glue. And you're going to glue down your first piece. You know, hold it there. Not very long. Like 15 or 20 seconds just to make sure it's adhered. Then you turn it to the side that you want and you start with your yarn and go through the center. Now as you can see this is not going to go through the center so I'm going to undo it until I get a good size piece and I'm going to cut it off and then if I need to get another piece I'll just cut another piece but we'll see what we got here we'll undo it a bit and then we'll um, wrap it up kind of make it like a, a ball and let's see what we got here we'll cut this off okay and then we're gonna, I'll just wrap it around my hand so that it's easier to get through the center of the bunny. Okay. And That's where you start looping it and you just go around and around and around keeping them reasonably tight not not snug but a re reasonably tight and if they don't look quite tight enough or a little too loose or a little too just check them every once in a while and then you'll see 
as they go along, whether they're where you want them. Then, so that they don't slip too much, um, I'll go around until I get to the next seam where the metal uh, joins the center. And you light them up a little bit as you go along. And then what we're going to do is when we get to the center, we're going to get the glue gun and we're going to glue it down so that it doesn't move. But check it out first to see if everything is where you want it. There's lots of different ways you can do this particular one. This one, uh, this design is probably about as easy as it comes. Um, but it always comes out looking nice. I slide that down just a little bit. So I could get another one in. And let's see how we're coming along here. You don't want them too tight, but you don't want them to look like they're out of place either. So, I'll go one more, then flip it over, and where you have, where it joins together, we're going to put another little drop of glue. Get over there. Okay, and then I'm going to go around with this and get my gun back in here. Come on. I'm going the wrong way, that's why. And hold that for a second or two or five. And then keep going around doing that. Now, you obviously, you don't need to sit here and watch me do that. So I'm going to finish it, and then I'm going to come back and show you um, what you do after you get it all the way around. I'll be back soon. Don't go away. As I tell the dog, be back one minute, one minute. Okay, I'm back. This is what we end up looking like. It's a dollar store frame, obviously a bunny frame. Um, it was a bit of a problem with the ears, more so, of course, than just going around at the bottom. Um, because of ending them off, I just didn't like the way they look, so it took me a little bit more time. And Brady's come out here to say hello. Say hello. All right, you can say hello. You want to show your face? You're not wanted, are you? Are you Are you wanted? Come over here and show your face. Well, look over here. Look. Look. You want to see the camera? Look. Oh, put your feet down. I'll show you the camera. Look. I know. Can you put your feet down? Can you get off just for a moment? I'll, I'll let you look, but here, look. Look in the camera. Look, tell them what a pretty baby you are. What a big baby you are. A big, big baby. Yes, you are. All right. Now, can, can you get down just for a minute? Look this way. Look, honey. Look. Okay. All right, now I'm almost finished, okay? And then we'll have a snack. We'll share some apple. All right, you be a good boy. All right, so the next thing you do is I have a bow dabber. That's what I'm going to use to make the bow. And I put a pipe cleaner in it so that it helps you at the end when you go to lift your bow. Um, what I I'm using is this pink and white checkered yarn, or uh, ribbon. And then you decide how big you want your bows. Um... I'm going to say, you're going to, what I like to do is cut the tails first. So figure out how big you want your tail. Maybe just a bit bigger. And then that would be your halfway point. So, okay. Now, you're going to cut that, 
and you're gonna put it in your bodebra, like so. And yeah, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking to the people. You wanna say hello to everybody? And then I'm gonna take, decide how big I want my bows. And I'm gonna measure them here. And five inches? Okay. With just a little bit extra. So we're gonna do like that. And then you just measure approximately how big. I don't hand, um, hand bow, I'm not that good. Uh, and then we're gonna go here. We're going to see if we have our same size bow. And the other way that you can do it is just push them down and then pull the sides, pull the um, top off of each bow, and you can tell whether they match up. This is pretty close. Now that's one. And I'm going to go back over and we'll do two. I always find that you twist it as you bring it in. And that way it'll stay down better. It won't unravel for you. And now we're going to do three. And also I like to do odd numbers. Let's, let's pull this one out just a bit. Yeah. Um, well, that, you know. One bow, three bows, five bows, seven bows, depending on um, how big the project is that you're working on. I hope you like this video, and if you do, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, and when you're starting or all the way through, when you're doing something like this, you need support. And everybody's been really good so far. Now what I'm going to do is cut a little bit further off on the end when I'm finished with my bows. Like I said, I've got three. And you don't want it to come too close because it'll come undone when you go to put it on your project. And I chose to use the... Um, not. I chose not to use the zip strips because um, this particular size that I have, I'm not quite sure it would, would do the trick. Then you pull this up as you're holding down, you know, like the three hand thing, and then you pull it tight. You push your bodabra out of the way, and you go one, two, and three. Then comes the attaching the, the bow to your project and then fluffing your bow, which fluffing your bow, anybody who's made any projects knows it's, uh, it could last forever because you, everybody seems to never get their bows the way they want them to be. So, uh, this is going to go right... Oh, maybe I'll put it on the bottom. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll put it on the bottom instead of putting it by the ears. Then turn it over. Where am I here? Uh, yeah. Once you get the yarn on it, it's kind of hard to figure out which end is up. Uh, you can save that so you can either help to hold it up to where you're going to end up putting it, or you can just cut it off. And then you just take your bows and you pull them out. And when you're making um, these projects, it's always best to use, in my opinion, 
wired ribbon. The other ribbon will just flop on you. And if you're going to spend any money um, extra on anything, spend it on the ribbon. You know, like I said, this is a dollar store frame. And I'm not sure where this ribbon came from. I'm going to say it was Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't go in there very often, but when I can get something that I like, yes, then I do go in there. And there you go. I think it turned out pretty cute. And you can put it on the wall, or you can put it on a child's door, or your own door, or whatever, or the front door as a decoration. And then you have something for Easter. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate the time that you... I, I can see I got my head cut off. I appreciate the time that you spend. Um, and uh, be kind to one another. It doesn't cost anything. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.